Hey guys, this one is gonna be a bit quick, so I'm gonna try and draw Kurosaki Ichingo from Bleach. Uh, I think I've never drawn Ichigo to be honest. It's gonna be my first time attempting to draw the guy. Obviously, I'm gonna draw him uh, with my own style, cause like I said, I've never, ever, ever drawn Ichigo. Uh, but yeah, Ichigo is the main character of Bleach. Uh, Bleach is an anime slash manga created by Taito Kubo. Um, explores the story of this kid in high school who is able to see um, ghosts. And uh, on one night, fateful night, um, he encounters a Shinigami which is a death god and uh, his life changes forever because this death god saves his sister you know from a um, what do you call those things a halo um, and uh, a halo is just basically a soul that didn't make it to heaven um, so yeah, uh, his life, like I said, his life just changes from that point on. He, um, he meets different people from Soul Society, other death gods. He fights other death gods. Actually, he's granted his Shinigami powers by um, by borrowing power from the same death god that he met that day, Rukia, who is supposed to guard. Um, Supposed to guard uh, the area, this area called uh, Kurakawa Town. Uh, as I've said, that this is gonna be my own rendition of the character. Um, I know his face is a bit fat, but that's the thing about drawing with pen, right? You can't make any changes, so. <laughs> You just have to do with what you have, you know. Maybe I'll try to do another version, just like the Gohan one. Um, but yeah, um, initially Tait Kubo wanted to uh, do a series about guns, but he went against it and then he made it about swords. Um, he had a manga out before that called Zombie Powder. Um, and uh, I think he had a few volumes out. Um, I guess it got cancelled if I'm not mistaken. So that's when he did Bleach. And uh, what's interesting about Ichigo is that he has different uh, sources of power, I guess. Because um, he's a Shinigami, but he has Quincy powers from his mom. And uh, he can turn into a Vizard, you know. So, yeah, he's, a, he's quite a different <laughs> protagonist in that light. Because usually... Some manga protagonists are either just a Saiyan or a ninja or this and that, but he has like different powers. Um, he hardly smiles. <laughs> um, he hardly smiles, but uh, he's a good guy. Has good friends. Um, for instance, he has a friend called uh, Chad, who is a loyal friend. They usually go into battles together. They used to. Uh, fight with bullies at school. So when Ichigo got his powers, Chad continued to be his companion, compatriot, uh, who, you know, will fight along his side no matter what. Even if some of the even enemies are way stronger than him, he still fights alongside Ichigo. You know, then you have Orihime, um, who is madly in love with Ichigo. And will do anything 
to be by his side. Then you have Ijda Uriu, who has a friendly rivalry with Ichigo, because uh, he's a Quincy, and Ichigo is a Shinigami, and uh, Quincy's and Shinigamis, or Shinigami, um, have a thousand year old beef, I guess. Um, and you have his two sisters, um, and then you have some of his friends from school, I forgot some of their names. But there's this girl that had so much potential in the story. Um, she used to beat Ichigo in martial arts classes. I forgot her name. I think it starts with a K or something. You know, I really liked her. She's Orohime's friend as well. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they ever really explored her character that much. But it's like whenever you see her, you feel like something great is going to happen. But nothing really happened. You know, which sucked. And then you have his dad, who's a doctor. Um, and we later discover that his dad was actually, is actually a former captain of Soul Society. So his dad was actually a Shinigami himself. Um, then you have Urahara, who's kind of like the Master Roshi of the show. Um, Ichigo's master, I guess we could say Master Roshi slash Kami slash King Kai of the show. As I've said, it's a uh, Ichigo's master um, who taught him certain things and who's always there by his side to protect him against anything. Um, yeah, anyway, this is. Urosaki Ichigo. I know some of you might completely disagree and I don't blame you because it doesn't really look like Ichigo but hey first attempt I'll try again I'll try again this is my own version Clearly he needs a haircut, right? <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is Ichigo Kurosaki. Alright, see you in the next one. Let me just do this quickly.